Hi, my name is Jay, and I have cystic fibrosis. It has become less likely that my death will be a tragedy. There was a time when the tragic nature of my death seemed guaranteed. I would die in my teens, robbed of a future by a debilitating twist of genetics, my potential squandered in a puddle of mucus. I'm 30 now, so I've had plenty of time to squander that potential myself. Though the mucus should still kill me, it won't be quite as sad as it would have been if it took me out a few years earlier. I was born with the genetic mutation cystic fibrosis, or CF. Instead of gifting me with a superhuman healing factor, or the ability to fire optic blasts, it makes it harder to breathe air and digest food. I can't eat, and I can't breathe. It's just as useful as it sounds. I haven't talked about it a lot. Though I show some outward signs of cystic fibrosis, I could just as easily be mistaken for a chain-smoking derelict. I never denied that I had CF, but I didn't advertise it either. For years, only my very close family and friends had any deeper knowledge of what was going on with me. Even still, I never told the whole story. It didn't seem to matter. While it pains me to admit it, CF is a huge part of my life. To effectively shut that part of my life down to visitors and passerby was to, intentionally or not, isolate myself from the rest of the world. In theory, this seemed like a great idea. In practice, the results have varied. It's not an easy thing to talk about. Not that I get choked up when I mention it, but it's hard to explain how it affects me because it is the only experience I've ever known. Anytime I compare it to something else, it's complete conjecture on my part. It would be different if I ever knew a life without CF. From where I'm standing, you're all fucking weird. Maybe you should write a book about what it's like to breathe. I kid, there are plenty of books about normal respiration. Though this book certainly deals with medical issues, I am not a doctor. However, I am well versed in the act of having CF. As such, this is not a book about cystic fibrosis itself, but a book about my experience with cystic fibrosis. It's also not intended to be representative of everyone's experience with the disease. Many cystic fibrosis patients face the disease and its obstacles with poise and grace. I tend to do it with a gratuitous amount of swearing. There's some adult language in this book. There's also some juvenile language. We're going to talk a lot about poop and mucus because I deal with a lot of poop and mucus. Though I've tried to arrange the following stories into some kind of natural order, they're also modular, so if you are of weaker stomach, you're probably safe to skip some of the more detailed descriptions. Just know that I am very disappointed in you. For many of you, stories of poop and mucus are the reason you're here. Or, at the very least, you're interested in how CF affects people. To that end, I've tried to keep this book from being a list of grade schools I've attended. It is my belief that you should not have to skip through a hundred pages of setup to get to the dirt. This is not the story of my life, but the story of my life with CF. There's no cure for CF, but I and many others would really like it if there was. While I truly and sincerely hope that CF is not the most interesting part of my life, it's probably the part that is most worth discussing. So, let's discuss.